what's up guys how are you doing how are you feeling how's everything i hope everything is good um my name is abby ambani for those who don't know me and for those who know me what's up <laughs> welcome back to my channel <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, so happy to have you at whatever time you're watching this or listening to this. Um, I'm truly honored. Thank you for the continuous support. Anyways, today's topic is going to be one that's very powerful, filled with blessing and love. I believe that, um, honestly, God spoke to me and God broke brought this topic to me um and i know how cheesy that sounds or how crazy that sounds but just just hear me out hear me out the topic is the power of the tongue i hope it blesses you and inspires you so many times many times i've been told um think before you speak or be quick to listen and slow to speak or you know things like that and I never actually took it with the seriousness that it actually deserved um, but but if you look at scripture look at the book of Proverbs chapter um, 18 verse 20 and 21 where it says from the fruit of his mouth a man is satisfied he is satisfied by the yield of his lips death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit and I was listening to dr. K and Jacob and he said something very very important he said that the devil never knows what you're going through he gets hints and clues when you speak so when you speak um, is when you bring to life something or when you kill something you know like and that's why the Bible is saying that death and life are in the power of the tongue the tongue is a very small part of the body but it is very very powerful you should be careful what you speak into existence because you're bringing it into life or you are killing something with your words if you look at matthew chapter 12 verse 36 listen to this listen to this i tell you on the day of judgment men will render account for every careless word they uttered for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned your words are powerful you need to know that your words are powerful another important thing that dr. K and Jacob said was every negative word you speak activates the demonic world into action and vice versa let me tell you something so the devil does not know what you're thinking he waits for you to speak it out that he may make it happen you know he may send his demons to come and work it out for you so that he may prosper and that is why the power of the tongue is important that is why people say manifest success manifest good things speak good things unto your life and they will come to you um the devil does not know what you're thinking he does not he can't read your mind so that is why you need to speak good so that good comes to you you should know that your mouth is connected to your heart so if your heart is good the words that come out are good it's like um, the heart is the tree and your words are the fruit therefore when you gossip or you curse or you speak ill about someone it's a reflection of what's in your heart 
It's a reflection of the things that are deep inside you, the jealousy, the anger, the bitterness. So renew your heart. Bring in the bring out the good that's in you. Let's look at the book of James. In the book of James, um, we go to chapter 3. Literally, the whole chapter talks about the power of the tongue. And if you look at verse 3, it literally says, um, If we put bits into the mouths of horses that they may obey us, we guide their whole bodies, their whole bodies, literally. And in verse 4, it says, Look at the ships also. Though they are so great and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rubber wherever the will of the pilot directs. In verse 5, So the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire and if you look at verse 8 it says but no human being can tame the tongue a restless evil full of deadly poison and he goes on to say with it we bless the lord and father and with it we cast men who are made in the likeness of god did you know that you were created in God's likeness and image? So why would you speak ill of yourself? Why would you say, I'm not worthy, I'm not loved, I'm not blessed, I'm not beautiful, I'm not handsome? Why would you say all these negative things to yourself? Why would you say you're depressed? Why, why would you... Why would you cast yourself and then praise God and say God is good all the time? And, you know, it's it doesn't make sense at all. In verse 10, it says, From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. And, and, and that's why in, in, in verse 11, it, it asks this question. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening fresh water and brackish? Hmm? Can a fig tree, my brethren, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. It cannot. You can't bring in blessing and cursing from the same opening. You can't bring fresh water and salty water from the same opening it does not work like that so be careful what you speak if if your heart is filled with anger and bitterness and evil then you need to renew your heart you need to find jesus christ as your personal savior you need god in your life you need to be renewed and reborn and have a clean, pure heart, that your heart may pour out peace, that your heart may pour out love, that your heart may pour out goodness into this world. I used to feel unworthy. I used to feel unloved. So trust me, I know how it feels to have all this bitterness inside you and not know how to let it out. And that is why we tend to gossip we tend to speak ill of others we tend to speak ill of ourselves we tend to say things and do things that hurt other people so i just want to pray for you i want to pray for you let's pray
Heavenly Father, thank you for whoever is watching this right now, whoever is listening to this right now. I pray for their healing and renewal of their hearts. May their hearts bear fruit of your goodness. May their hearts bear fruit of your wellness and your love and your peace and your joy and that may they reflect your goodness unto this world, my Father, my King. May you bless them and may you cover them with the blood of Jesus and may no harm come their way. May the devil never prosper in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may they speak good unto the unto themselves and to and unto others in Jesus name amen thank you so much for watching i hope this has blessed you and i hope that it has inspired you to speak good unto the world and i love you guys so much thank you for your continuous support again and may you be blessed and be at peace Bye.